tell me about your son. How old is he? He will be two at the end of August. His name is Caden. And what about your career? What do you do for your job? I am a podiatrist in Bloomingdale and Hinsdale. Yeah. So that means you have a medical doctorate degree. I do. I have a, it's actually a, a DPM, Doctor of Podiatric Medicine degree. Yeah. So you spent a lot of years in education and maybe even a lot of loans. <laughs> Tons of loans, yes. <laughs> so when you were pregnant, it probably was a no-brainer whether or not you were going to go back to work, right? Yeah, I had no, uh, no choice. Plus, I love my job and I think I have a nice balance working part-time. Wow, you're working part-time, so tell me about that, because that's something that a lot of moms wish they could do. How did you arrange that? I am very flexible, luckily, at my job. At uh, There's two offices in Bloomingdale and Hinsdale, and I, I'm able to pretty much set my hours. So him being little, I wanted to spend a little more time at home, so I was able to arrange that. So what, what are the hours? Did you have this all figured out like before you even gave birth or did you have to kind of figure it out after? No, you definitely have to figure it out after, I think. Um, I didn't really know what to expect being a first time mom, so it took, uh, it took a little bit of planning after he was born to figure it out. So what did you end up doing as the perfect schedule for you? Um, the hours vary uh, every day pretty much, so not always do I have Fridays off. Luckily I did today, so I was able to come enjoy the fair, but um, it's, it varies day by day, week to week. So some weeks two or three days, some weeks four or five days? You got it, yep. Yeah. Depends on like the the client, the you know, the patient load? Yes, the patient load, the surgeries, it's all kind of dependent on, on that. <laughs> So you still have your loans to pay off, or have those been paid off? No, I sure have tons of loans to pay off. <laughs> and so are you married? I am married. And your husband works full-time? He does work full-time in Chicago. Is he a doctor? No, he's not. He works in uh, at a bank, so he's more in the financial aspect. I'm in the, more in the medical field. Is your pay higher than his when you were both working full-time? You know, I was just starting off, so it was, it was pretty equal. You know, pretty equal. Yes, buddy. <laughs> so was that a hard sell to him? Did he say, look at all these loans and you're going to go part time? What was what did he think of that? Or even your parents who encouraged you to go to medical school? Nah, they didn't understand that. Uh, he's only a little one, so just spend a little more time with him. And, you know, as he gets a little bit older, I'll definitely be going back to full time. And you can do that in your field, because I know with me, I kind of put my career on hold for a while, like two days a week, and it was really hard to jump back in then and get a job in broadcasting when I hadn't been full-time for a while. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's, an, that's a possibility. That's why I decided to spend so many years in medical school, is to be a little bit more flexible. So you have a lot more opportunities to go part-time, full-time, sort of back and forth. Is it your own practice? No, I joined a practice with other doctors, yeah. But you could at some point, if you needed to. Absolutely, I could start my own practice. It's not easy though, for sure, so, while well, he's little. <laughs> so when you, when you gave this thought to going part-time, before he was even born, I take it, and then after he was born, you said, okay, I, I, this is precious time, you were nursing, I take it, maybe? Okay, and so, you know, what were some of the challenges? What, you said you didn't know what to expect. What happened that surprised you? <laughs> He, he was a difficult feeder, that, that was challenging for sure, um, and it's, it's tough to leave him because you don't want to miss all those moments. That's why, oh hi buddy, <laughs> he's joining us here. Hey, hey. You're, gonna, you're gonna tell us some things too. So how did you get, you know a lot of moms will share those feelings, but then they might be going through it right now, how did you get past it? The student loans. <laughs> no really, but you have to you have to kind of take it day by day and you you kind of get used to it. I was dreading a lot going back to work after being on maternity leave. You know, you're used to being with this little one for, you know, these few weeks and then you have to have to leave them. So you you just do it. You got to do it. The bills got to get paid and and you go and you you set your own routine and you kind of get used to it.